Well, in today's video, we are doing something completely different. And I don't mean seeing me get changed in the car. You, you know what's going on. I always need to check if there are some people coming at the moment. They may find it weird to see a man without shirt in the car here, in a Tesla. They may think, what's going on here? Oh, sure. As I said, today I want to do something I have not done for a long time and people online on the forums on whatsapp even on my patreon side they are giving me a hard time about this yeah guys tonight i'm doing it but well, i just want to show you this beautiful rainbow here i need to stay away from the rain i washed the car on the weekend all right so let's do it driving Stand it. I know I'm driving in chill mode for almost the time I have the car for. And this is one of the rare occasions I put the car in standard mode. I usually drive only in chill mode. And you guys always give me a hard time for that. Always. Where I tell you I'm driving in chill mode. You give me the hardest time ever. Online, on Facebook, even in my Patreon group, they give me a hard time. So I thought, well, if everyone drives in standard mode, there must be something really nice, really good, really exciting about it, right? Andy, give it a try. Just try it. Just, you know, push it to the right, click on standard and drive in standard mode and see what the car does, how it feels like. And here we go. It's raining. Of course, I washed the car. Ah, uh, well, that's not good. But before we go ahead with this, I'll push it back to, to chill mode. Because I'm so used to it and it makes so much sense. All right. What I have here is a drag race app on my phone. So this will give us the numbers 0 to 20, 0 to 50, 0 to 80 and 0 to 100. But we will try this now out and see how much kilowatt we actually pull from this number and how good the times are in chill mode versus standard mode. What is the difference in the maximum power the motor gets and what is the best times we can get in either mode? Okay, let's do it. Okay, back on the road and stop. This is in chill mode. And this is full throttle. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, it has a valid reading 7.9 seconds to a 0 to 100. 7.9. That is incredible fast, right? Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, let's go back and do the same from the same location again in standard mode. Okay, so we can see here the maximum rear power was 143.5 kilowatts. And this is the maximum regen power we had. Okay, so 143.5. And here are the results again. You can see 0 to 100, 7.9 seconds, which is quite fast actually. This is faster than so many other cars. And this was in chill mode. Okay, let's do the unthinkable. And Andy is driving in standard mode. <sighs> We need a different license for that. Okay, let's put the car on the road. It already feels fast. Okay, do a full stop until it beeps and then floor it. Holy sh! Holy sh! Holy crap! Wow! That was fast! That was so fast! Oh my god! Oh, that was unreal! What the hell? That is so fast! Oh my god! That car is fast! The rear motor 
217 kilowatts for the rear motor was the maximum power and we had the best time 0 to 100 5.3 seconds that feels so quick you can see the 0 to, to 20 times actually worse 0 to 50 is the same but then it comes look at these numbers 5.3 seconds I did the 120 actually at 7.4 faster than the 7.9 to 100 in chill mode Wow, and here around this corner and then oh, <laughs> oh my god the acceleration is insane that is crazy in standard mode who is driving in standard mode oh shit. holy crap <laughs> it is so fast <laughs> it is unbelievable <laughs> oh my god! Hey, 70, 70, I'm 70, I'm good. Okay, let's do it again, let's do it again. Cruising along, 15 kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Slowing down, looking for something, you know, and then... <laughs> oh my god, this flies! Look at all these bins on the screen here. Amazing. Oh, look at this curve. Look at this. The last 50 kilometers. That's when I was driving in chill mode, chill mode, chill mode, chill mode, and then put it in standard mode. and. Look at this graph! Yeah, we better put this back in chill mode here. Yeah, guys, here's the test lander again. Back in chill mode, of course. <laughs> what a hell of a ride yesterday, huh? In standard mode. That is insane. I mean, if you drive for months in chill mode, it's a completely different car, right? It feels it feels totally different. I mean, on the other hand, it, it is a lot of fun to drive in standard mode. The car is very, very quick off the line, of course, very responsive to the accelerator, but it puts a lot of stress on the car as well. Not only on the steering and suspension and brakes. Yeah, actually, I needed to brake a couple of times yesterday because the car was so quick. It's, it's totally different driving, actually. And it also puts a lot of strain on the drivetrain, not only on the motor itself and the bearings. Yeah, just think about the motor mount. When the motor starts twisting because the torque is so high here, yeah, this is quite a lot of tension and force on this mount. Well, and if you drive sporty like this, you always have the high currents going out of the battery and into the battery when you regen, of course. And we know high currents in and out of the battery are one factor for degradation. I'm not saying the battery will degrade super fast with that, but it definitely will degrade faster. And I'll give you an example of that just in a minute. Yeah, and then there's, of course, the tires. If you, if you read through social media, many people posting their numbers, what they get out of their tires and their Teslas, and some of them only get 20,000 kilometers out of one set of tires. There's one guy, or there was one guy in the US with a P100D Model S. He got only 15,000 kilometers out of his tires and then the whole set needed to be replaced. I can only imagine how he is driving with his car. Because effectively the tires are the link between your drivetrain, your, your power inside the car and the road. And the more aggressively you drive, of course, the more sporty you drive in corners, acceleration. The quicker you wear out your tires, of course. And then when you have a look on Tesla Fee, for example, the efficiency of the trips you do in standard mode and in chill mode. Completely different story. I usually manage to get over 100% efficiency. That means I'm using less kilometers than rated in the car. Because again, you know, chill mode, it smooths out all these peaks in with your driving. And we discussed this for years when you drove the PHEV and Eco mode. 
it smooths out all these peaks when you press the accelerator which is more efficient and gives you more range of course and this is why you will see efficiencies over 100 percent in tesla fee for example but in standard mode you hardly see that but again this is just me how i drive i try to drive as efficient as possible in the car i'm not i don't need to drive as fast as possible or get to my destination in the shortest amount of time i'm a chilled driver yeah and then there's the degradation i'm not sure if this is really because i was driving in standard mode really hard but the degradation of the battery shown in on the tesla on the scan my tesla app has jumped from 2.5 percent which i took the screenshot here recently to around 4.6 percent just now and I had a look on Tesla Fire as well and in the battery report over there I could see recently that I was the leading car here in this area in the country none of the other cars had more range than I had but since I drove in standard mode this has dropped suddenly and I'm in the middle field now I'm not the leading car anymore in the country there are a lot more cars having more range than I have so scan my tesla shows me the nominal full pack of the battery has gone down from 51.1 kilowatt hours to exactly 50 kilowatt hours i know all these are just numbers but it shows the same in tesla fee and on the scan my tesla in the tesla watchdog what i call it yeah so i'm not sure i mean of course if you drive more sporty if you drive in standard mode using more energy more current more power the prediction what the battery can do will go down and the computer calculates okay if this guy drives like this all the time you will have higher degradation and it factors this possibly already in i did this acceleration test between chill and standard mode two days ago and you can see on tesla fee the curve already recovers because i'm driving again in chill mode now so it it sees it basically sees I'm using far less power out of the battery so the battery should last a lot longer than previously expected when I drove in standard mode and accelerated hard. So I'm not sure if I'm making things up here but the numbers are there and the curves are there. So looking at the graph and at the numbers you can potentially see a trend over there. So time will tell if this curve recovers now because I'm driving in still mode. And that this means you are far softer to the battery, to the drivetrain, to the whole car, of course. Well, I'm not only driving in chill mode because it's softer to the car and the battery may last longer and everything lasts longer. Because you don't put too much stress and strength on the on the actual car, you know. I'm usually I like I like the softer acceleration pedal a lot more than this quirky sporty accelerator. I mean this is insane in standard mode, you just tap the accelerator and the car shoots ahead. I like to have this more softer I'm using far more um, pedal percentage basically while driving I think it's just more relaxing to drive like this you know accelerate smooth and slowly it's maybe my age I don't know it's maybe just me I don't know but I like the soft accelerator a lot more yeah guys so far this video showing the difference between chill and standard and my thoughts about it let me know down in the comments below how do you drive do you drive in standard do you bother with chill mode am i the only person who's driving in chill mode all the time am i the only guy i don't know i don't know anyone else who's driving in chill mode all the time i think people have tried it but they didn't like it because it was so slow then and well give it a go drive a week in chill mode and then go back to standard mode and see the difference really it's like driving a different car definitely all right guys as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and join the community at patreon and this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off you stay charged and safe and we will see us again in the next video very soon of course all right guys see you then bye bye